Check this, sometimes referred to as the disk check, is a command that displays status report for a volume, such as a disk, and can correct any errors found in that volume. There are a few switches in the check disk command that can be useful to system administrators. The one that I'm interested in today is the slash F switch. Keep in mind that the check disk command can only be run on your local disk and most users would use this command to run on the C drive, which is the default Windows installation drive. So if you're not sure what your default, where is your default uh, system installation, you can basically open your Windows 11 machine, uh, any you know file explorer, for example, and then go to the this PC and you can see this Windows symbol. So now you know that you have the Windows installed on the C drive. So typically by default, unless as system administrator, you force the system to install it in another drive other than the C, your system drive should be the C. So that's where we're gonna be running the check this command. To run this command, we're gonna go into the start menu and we're gonna type CMD, which will bring up the command prompt. And we need to make sure that we open the command prompt as an administrator. So we're gonna say run as an administrator. If you are not the administrator for this computer or the domain, you wouldn't be able to run the check this command. So keep that in mind. So you need to open the command prompt in administrative privileges. You will get a USC and we're gonna say yes. And we are in command prompt in administrative privileges. The command for the check this is chkdsk. And there are a few switches such as slash f, uh, slash V, uh, et cetera, et cetera. And those different switches will do uh, different things. If you don't specify the slash F in here, and if you press simply enter in here, the check this command will run in read only mode. So if I press enter right here, what's gonna happen is it's gonna run through the uh, disk check or check disk, and it'll run in read only. Right here it says check is, uh, disk is running in read only mode and that's how it's gonna uh, run. And then it's gonna display some information related to the disk that you have on this machine. So I'm gonna clear that. You can run the check disk command in slash F mode, which is the error fixing mode. That is a very useful tool for system administrator. To do that, we simply gonna do the same thing. So chkdsk, but this time we're gonna put a space here and we're gonna put forward slash and put F right here. And then we're gonna press enter. Then when you do that, you will get a prompt saying, hey, you know, the check this command uh, going to run right now uh, in the slash F mode. And would you like to schedule this volume to be checked uh, in a next time uh, when it restart? So you can schedule it. Uh, and because it is trying to run on that pr the drive that we are in. So it's trying to run on the C drive. You don't need to enter anything else. And you can, you know, you can simply press check this slash F as long as the command prompt is open in that drive itself. So as you can see here, you can do that. So I'm gonna say no here for now. But if you have a different drive letter, but your command prompt administration administrative window is open in that different drive letter. What you can do, you can also do check this. So we're gonna do the same thing, check this. But in here, right after check this, we're gonna specify the drive. So it's gonna be C drive that we wanna run and we're gonna press forward slash F. So we do this in this way so that we can specify a drive to run the check disk. So if you run this way, what's gonna happen is gonna run on the C drive when it uh, boot it up because we have the command prompt open in that C drive. If you do this way, you may be able to run on other local drives such as any local drive such as the E drive for example, uh, using the same command. However, keep in mind that typically you run the check this command on the device uh, that contain or drive that is contain that contain the Windows operating system. So it's most likely for most of you, it's gonna be the C drive, uh, but you can specify the drive right here as well. So once you do that, we press enter, uh, one moment, like that. And it's gonna say, do you wanna schedule it? You can say yes, and you can press enter. So what's gonna happen is it's gonna go and check 
for any errors and try to fix it when I reboot this machine. So if I go uh, close this one and if I go here and now we have run the check this command and we're going to say restart. What will happen, you'll see that it start running the disk uh, check or check this com uh, config uh, commands uh, right when it reboots. There you go. Now the system is running, try, you know, about to run the check this or this checking com uh, conf uh, commands. And it gives you a few minutes, a few seconds to cancel it if you wish to cancel it. And this is what the, uh, it's uh, going to do. It's going to run on that C drive and when it gets completed, it's going to get a message saying it's 100% completed. Please keep in mind to use the checklist, computers must have the autocheck.ext file already on their computer or on their device. Uh, AutoCheck will be already installed on all Windows versions. It is not recommended to interrupt the check disk, but you may interrupt check disk at any point and canceling or interrupting the check disk should not leave any volume any more corrupted than what it was before you ran the check disk command itself. So it is okay to interrupt this process if you choose to do so. This command is valid in both Windows desktop and server operating systems. And it is recommended uh, to run the check this command occasionally uh, on mission critical devices such as the Windows server running critical applications. And that's everything for today. Until next time, thank you so much and have a nice day.